in this example, we're going to use matrices to translate and dilate figures. Um, we have three line segments. Um, we have, looks like A, B, X, Y, and P and Q. So in the diagram, line AB is translated four units right and two units up from PQ. Also, XY is a dilation of AB by a factor of one half. So we talked about scaling. Um, scaling makes it bigger, dilation makes it smaller. So this one's by a factor of a half. Centered about the origin. How can you use matrices to show the translation and dilation. So let's show the translation of AB to PQ. Be good if I'm using the right side of my pen. And so we have points here on AB. We have a point A is 2, 6, and B is 8, 4. So he uses matrices to be A, B for the line. Where this is the point A, X, so this is point A, this is point B, this is X, and this is Y. All right, so again, using matrix or matrices to organize our thought process. So we have a translation. The translation can be re represented by the matrix, and it has two columns, one for A and one for B. Since the translation results in an x coordinate coordinates increasing by 4, the y coordinates increasing by 2, so looking at this, we've moved the x 1, 2, 3, 4, and we move the y's 2. So, um, can you see this right here? Yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4 this way, and then 2 up that way. Same here, 4 this way, 2 up this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this. This 2 gets added 4. This 8 gets moved over by 4. This 6 got moved over up by 1. This 4 got moved up by 1. So the translation now, what we're going to see here now is 2864 plus 4422 equals 61286. This right here is the pre image. This right here is the translation, and this last piece right here is the image. So the sum represents the endpoint. So this represents the endpoint, PQ. Okay, so that's how we can show translation of our function or our matrices. Again, nothing too in-depth, nothing too difficult. Um, we are still just working with matrices. We're still just working with points, but now we're just using the matrices to organize these points because I could have just said A, B, and then wrote out the points. But again, we're just using these to represent the points. This is point A x value, y value, this is point B, x value, y value. This is what we translated for the x's and the y's. So we both translated both x's by four, both y's by two. Again, this is an even move. And then um, we get the PQ, we get that translation. What about the dilation of one half? So show that the dilation AB by a scale of a factor of one half. Well, again, this is a scale factor. So I'm just going to do 1 half times line AB. And we already established AB with the last matrix is going to be 2, 8, 6, and 4. 
again, this is A. I'm going to use a different color. Again, this is A. This is B. This is X's and my Y values. All right, and in this case, when I multiply each one of those by one half, so two times one half is going to be one, eight times one half is going to be four, six times one half is going to be three, and four times one half is going to be two. This right here represents the scalar. This right here is the pre-image. And this right here is the image. In our case, this is equal to XY. So this method can be only used for dilation centered at the origin. And that when they say dilation centered at the origin, this is the center of that dilation. And because we're talking about the distance of this line, so basically if you use a distance formula, it's halfway between and it's a dilation centered at the origin. All right. We are done with this problem. We are done with this dilation and translation. Guys, if you have any questions, always feel free to ask and I will catch you in the next video.